I always saw pictures of the truck as a kid, and uh, we always talked, like, kind of joked about getting it back when uh, the fire department that Limestone sold it to was done using it. We just took a trip down there to a French Lick and took a look at it, and they said, oh, we were getting rid of it, so we just decided to buy it, and that's how it got started. It's just been a great project. I've been um, trying to find something to reward him for getting good grades and just uh, doing well in school, and we wanted to do a project, and we started looking at 1968 Camaro was kind of what we wanted to do and then yeah we went on vacation and, and just went to take pictures of this and decided well you know maybe we could do this as a project and so I mean it, it means a lot more to me and it means a lot more to him that this has you know a family history and so it's, it's just been great. It's my connection to the past, it's my connection to uh, being a third generation firefighter. You know it's it's just done in honor of my father, I mean I, uh, you know he's the reason that I became a firefighter and it, to, to put this together and to have something to show for it to uh, help him remember the past it's just it's outstanding feeling. Well, it's one of the most useful pieces for off-road work when it comes to fretting brush fires. You drove through ditches at a 45 degree angle so that you didn't get stuck, went into the scene and made the uh, trip around the uh, perimeter of the fire, knocking it out as you went. I can't let this thing end up in a scrapyard or on a farm or, you know, just being torn apart and made into a grain truck or something, you know. I mean, I knew we could do it. I knew we could restore this thing. I said, you know, let's take a chance on it. And so it's, we, we found success with that.